everyone and welcome to this really special video. I've been looking forward for this for such a long time. This is a project that started many months ago and I wanted to do something to motivate all these boys that want to start to dance or that they are starting to dance but they don't see a future in it. So I can try to help you and motivate you to keep going on this career and keep working to become a ballet dancer. I know it's really difficult because I've been through it and the good news is that many boys have been through it as well. Anyway, now I found the way how to make this video happen and I thought that it's not just about me telling you something but other boys as well telling their stories and help you in your journey. So I partnered with four friends of mine, four really good dancers and amazing persons that they have been through many things as well and that they have experienced the ballet world in a different way than me and I think it would be great for you to see what they have done and what they think about many questions that maybe you also ask yourself. So I don't want to say any more, the video is with them. I hope you can enjoy it and take away some motivation for, your, for yourself and for the things that you want to accomplish. Enjoy! Hello, my name is Aurélien Jando. I'm French, I'm 19 and I'm ballet dancer at the MDO. Hello, I'm Ivan Sanchez from Spain. I'm ballet dancer in MDO. Hello, I'm Elia Zegrati. I'm 23 years old and I'm a ballet dancer with Moravska Diva de Olomouc. Hello, I'm Hodaka Mariyama, 24 years old. I'm from Japan. Ah, yeah, I'm, I'm ballet dancer. <laughs> <laughs> So actually, um, I started because of my mom. She was doing ballet as an amateur. She was in a small school and I went to see one of her shows. And after the show, I went to my mom and I was like, I love it and I want to try it. So the next day she put me in the school where she was working and I just kept going after. <laughs> I started ballet watching Billy Elliot's film, I think this happened to many children, boys mostly, but I think it's also a, a very beautiful film to see and, and to understand how it, how it works, this world, because a lot of things are really clear in that film. I have started ballet because of my mom. Basically, she was trying some. She, she's a ballet lover, first of all, and she was trying something to uh, calm my energy because I used to be a really busy, uh, really busy child. So uh, she couldn't control me, and she thought that um, for me, ballet would be a great choice to use my energy in a good way and uh, try also to make me a bit more calm and uh, you know try to. Uh, Term in a guy which could respect more the all the, the rules, you know. Yeah. My sister started very fast, and when I went to watch her training, the master told me, "Do you want to try?" And I started. I realized uh, when I was in high school I started realizing that I couldn't make it a job like I could live with it I could get money out of it a little bit and so when I realized that I said to my mom I want to do this because it's my passion and I want to make my passion my job well my my goal was a uh, arriving to the Victoriates company from my school. I, I've been studying in Victoriates company from when I was seven years old. So my goal was arriving to the company. So I didn't see it like a work, but like a goal. After, when I was older, like 14, 15 year old, I realized that I could live my life as a dancer. But from the very beginning, I wanted to work as dancer because I see it not as a work, but as a goal and something for me. I think I never choose ballet as a professional, but ballet chose me uh, because 
I never thought about, I never thought I would like to become a ballet dancer, but I just, <laughs> I just um, continue to um, work on it, and at the end uh, it just happened. So I actually don't know why, but I just follow my uh, what, what I really want to want to do. I really like to dance ballet from really child, like from six years old. Um, first time when I realized I wanted to be a professional is when I was 11 years old because I tried the uh, US America Grand Prix, it was 2008, and I could go to final, so I could go to New York with ensemble, pro how to say, ensemble group, with ensemble group, yeah. And I saw the world, the other dancers, oh my god. <laughs> I saw the gala as a like, professional dancers. Yeah. That was the moment. That moment. the connection between the, the dancer and the public and making the public forget about all their problems in one night and making them happy, making them sad about the story we're, we're trying to explain. But I think it's this connection. I don't know, from, from when I was very young, from when I was, I don't know, four, five year old, I've been dancing around, even if I was not in a school or something, I've been dancing every time. Uh, my reference was Michael Jackson, for example. I love her video clips and, and his music. What attracts mm, to me was mostly the Billy Elliot film, and then discovering more the, the ballet world uh, started attracting me so much, like ballet and voice ballet technique. So, first of all, uh, the jumps because yeah when I, when I didn't know a lot about ballet the first thing that obviously attracted me was the the mainly part because obviously I think it, um, it was something that I, that I felt mine uh, but after uh, what actually attracted me was the things that there is always something to learn every day and there is you, you, you can't reach uh, um, anything in ballet. You have to work and uh, discover every day something new. Yeah, so I like performing ballet on stage because I can share my feelings with colleagues and um, with audience through the ballet. <laughs> I used to complain a lot, like, uh, oh, I'm working a lot already and things like this, and so I should take it easy and everything. But I actually, like, after, after, now that I am where I am, I feel like I should, I should have worked more and worked my ass off, in a way, because there's a lot of things you can learn in school, and usually when you're young, you're just like, it's fine, it's, they just, they just say because I, they know everything, they think they know everything, but actually they do know everything, so take what they say and never forget. I will say take it easy, because sometimes you get so stressed about being the best, but it's not being the best one, it's doing your best. Do whatever you feel, and you are not going to be the same as another one. You are going to be better than, than you. You are not going to be better than that one. You are going to be better than uh, Ivan from yesterday. That's what I would say. Don't try to be the best one every time. I think be more respectful with yourself and make, uh, uh, try to make clear uh, what you really want. And, uh, 
don't hesitate, uh, uh, don't hesitate yourself and uh, your passion. I was practicing a lot when I was a child, I guess. So watch more, sh go to watch more shows or learn some video of full length of ballet because I, I didn't have a lot of knowledge about that. So watch more. <laughs>「Jumping」Jumping. <laughs>、uh, I think it's something I'm good at and I enjoy because I'm good at it and I feel like when you're good at something you have to enjoy what you're doing and do it the best you can. I think from my opinion I have a very good technique. I think that comes from my, from my teachers, from my school. But I think that's also, that comes also from me. I have a good capacity to take and, and to see and to analyze what to do in each moment. So, technique and, and velocity in my mind.、Uh, I think it's the mental resilience because、uh, I. I have the tendencies to want、uh, everything perfect,、uh, even for my colleague and、uh, myself. So I, I couldn't stop something and I couldn't,、um, I couldn't finish uh, uh, something. Uh, I really want to do everything perfect. o、oh, try, obviously, because it's impossible, but、uh, that's,、um, I, I never give up. That's... My strength is jump. So, I can present myself with dynamic movement, but without、uh, making it rough. Pretty basic, Baryshnikov,、uh, Nureyev.、Uh, from like, nowadays, I would say Friedman Fokel, Daniel Simkin, which are big stars, and I really enjoy watching them. I have many dancers that I admire, for example,、uh, Osiel Guneo,、uh, Carlos Acosta, Daniel, Daniel Simkin, Nureyev, Marishnikov. But I think one reference for me is Stephen m c r a y because he's so constant. He really h a v e his mindset clear how a dancer h a v e to work. And this is one thing that I always remind to me like, stay constant. Even if one day is not very good, do your best and be constant. That's it. I think that's the, the, the word that describes him, and I like a lot.、Uh, Nurayev, <laughs> yes, obviously. Because he,、uh, with, with,、uh, with him,、uh, I can really feel.、Uh, Uh, the soul and、uh, the soul of the ballet, and、uh, also I really appreciate how,、um, how he, he gave the possibility also to the men、uh, to do difficult steps and maybe not just、uh, partnering and、uh, jumps but also the, the expression. Also the expression. I really appreciated how he gave the possibility also to the men. Uh, to do difficult step, hard step, and also be expression and not just、uh, the, a partner. you know.、Uh, Mihal b a r s h n i k o v Ivan Vasiliev, Leonid Sarafanov, <laughs> them. <laughs>
that can express uh, things, things uh, which uh, uh, could be expressed just with the voice uh, and uh, breaks uh, the, the mirror between uh, the audience and uh, the stage. So keep running, keep challenging, um, don't afraid to show yourself and appreciate people who are around you and be modest. It's really important and uh, it will be a good dancer. I think technique it's a very um, it's very important part from a ballet dancer having a good technique but otherwise there's something else in ballet that makes us ballet dancers and not uh, someone that is doing a sport that is arriving to the public and they, even if you are corpse is the one that it makes you uh, look there. Even if he's doing corpse of ballet or he's doing the solo part, when it enters on the stage and you see that dancer, that's what a, a good ballet dancer is, the one that attracts the public and makes make feel something to them. Okay, so that was it. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. From here, really thank you so much to Ivan, Elia, Hotaka and Aurelian. It means a lot for me that you came to the studio and filmed all of this and the interviews. I know it was a long period, but uh, I think the results are there and the video looked really good. For you guys that are watching from home, I hope it, this, this really helped you to keep pushing and become a dancer or maybe just do it for hobby, but to see that you are not alone in this, that we are not alone. Ballet boys, we are a big community and we can help each other become the best version of ourselves. Okay, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ivan Sanchez from Sp. <laughs> 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 Three, two, one. Hmm. Can you hear me? I, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, okay. I wanna. <laughs> can you cut it yeah, after? Yeah, yes, because I wanna do. Good. Yeah. <laughs>